Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Well, let's see what we got for you today. Ah, uh, we got a nice Russian van. Not van, SUV. A small SUV. And if you want to ask me more, I say this is the most iconic SUV that ever came out of Europe. Probably after the Land Rover. I will say the Lada Neva. The Lada Neva actually was the Land Rover for Russia, if you ask me. It's been out there for decades. They remodeled it a few times, but it's still quite the same. And this car has been made for over 45 years, 40 years at least. Now, going back to this car, we have for you a 143 scale 1978. Lara Neva, Lara Neva, which in other countries like Russia, they call them the Vaz 2121. This is a beautiful, I'm sorry, I know I say every time I find every car beautiful, but I really like it. You have to start appreciating cars for what they are. It, you know, not every car has the luxurious looks of a Mercedes. Not every car has the sportiest look like a Lamborghini. Or not every SUV will be looking like a Range Rover. But every car out there has its nice little looks and history. Now, like I mentioned before, this is like the Land Rover of Russia. It's been out there for a very long time. And it's very, been very successful in many parts of the world where these cars were quite cheap, quite reliable, and you had a transportation, especially if you, if you live like on dirt roads or not so good terrain and you have to travel, these cars were quite good. And you know, Lada, it's quite, it was quite successful in many countries around the world, even in Latin America, Lada back in the 80s and 90s. I would say more like the early to mid 90s. They were very successful. And you know. They make good cars. I like the Russian cars. They they have their. They have this look that. It kind of brings you. From modern days to. Back in the days. Uh, days. And that's what I like about the Lada. By the way, this is the first generation, like I said, the very first Lada Neva. The newer Lada Nevas are basically the same, just the tail lights is no longer uh, horizontally. Now they have it on the side. Which I also have that Lada Neva, guys. I will show it to you in, in a few other videos. But going back to this one, very sturdy. Look at that turning signal by the almost by the hood of the car. You know, this car made it to Canada. They sold these cars in Canada. I will say this one and the uh, sedan, the, the one that looked like a Fiat 124. I forgot the name now. I have it in, in my diecast showroom. But um, this car made it to Russia. It was not very successful at all in Russia. That's why um, they never came back to United, not United States. They never came back to Canada. This car never got to the United States, unfortunately, but we never know. Maybe in the future we'll see Ladas and other brands from Europe in the States. If, you know, they start making them and thinking about more worldwide, they probably could make it everywhere in the world. All right, guys, so let me let it go around a few times so you can have a nice look at the car.
Okie dokie, I'm back. <laughs> okay, so, you know, let me know what you guys remember about these cars. Because I actually remember them from when I was younger. I remember seeing them in person. Beautiful car. I'm not sure how many they still got around. I'm sure in Russia and other countries around, they still have many of them around. Because, like I said before, they still sell them. They remodel them here and there, but they still sell the Lada Neva. So, I think they were planning to stop making them in the very near future, but as of right now, they still sell them. So, isn't that a quite a run, guys? A car that looks and is essentially a 70s and 80s car by the looks of it. It still makes it to 2021. We have to give them credit, you know, when credit is due. <laughs> now, let me know what you guys think about this car. What memories does it bring you? Do you remember this car seen around in your childhood or nowadays? Have you ever drove one of these cars? That's one question that I would love to hear people tell me. Are they very rough on the edges, guys? Is how is the ride on this car? Can you drive them around in the city like a regular car or, you, or is it more like an off-terrain? You know, these are questions that I would love to hear answers from viewers that know more about this car. And don't forget to subscribe like I always mention. And the bell next to the subscribe button, it will remind you when I'm posting more videos. And also, Give me a nice thumbs up. It will I would really really appreciate. And you show me also it's showing me that you like what you're seeing and also that you want to see some more. So again, I would love to see um comments. Let me know what you guys think about the video, like I mentioned before. Alright, guys. So stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you on my next video. Goodbye.